Here are five traps you might fall for in Power BI. Let's go. Can somebody get me out of here? Right, here's the first one. There is a bug with the column and uh, line chart. So I want to put, I've got the actual cost in here. I want to put the budget in. I might drag budget into the line axis. Ah, look, I'm under budget there. I'm over budget there. No, I'm not. It's put it on the secondary axis. So I go here to turn off the secondary axis, but it's off. Uh, okay, turn it on, then turn it off. Ah, I'm over budget every single period. Okay, so the next one, I've got this year to date cost chart and I'm gonna compare it against my full year budget, okay? So my full year budget measure is calculate budget cost, remove filters, calendar month. And that's working because if I click on January, the year to date changes, okay? But the full year budget doesn't. Awesome. So then I add that to my chart, expecting a nice line of 6.2 million. So I've got the line bar. I go my full year budget into the line and I get this. Okay, that is not 6.2 million. This is not a secondary access thing. What's going on? Well, the reason is my months are sorted in a specific order. You always have to sort your months by calendar month, financial year month, whatever. This is by financial month. Australia runs from July to June. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I have to include in my formula, I have to remove the filter for the sort column as well. So I've got financial month number for sort. Press enter and then that'll work. Check it out. There you go. There's my line, my six million line. Okay. Next one, I just want to draw a quick vertical line. So insert shapes, line, all right. And it'll be over here somewhere. Here we go, I'll just drag it over onto the page. So there's the horizontal line. How do I make it vertical? Well, I have to go to rotation 90 degrees. Okay, that's pretty annoying, especially when there's, um, you know, under shapes, there's a heart. Come on, give me a, give me a vertical line, please. Um, and then I wanna change the color. So I go uh, to style and I see this blue and I change it to orange, no. It's the border color. All right, so that catches me out on occasion. Okay, okay, next one. I wanna add a background image. So go paintbrush, uh, canvas background, browse for an image, get that image there. And it is 100% transparent. There we go. Okay, so, and then we can change it to fit. So 100% transparency catches me every time. Last little one uh, from folder, okay? So I wanna grab some data from a folder. I'm gonna grab it from this little folder here. So home, get data, click on the button, wait for the three seconds for it to come up. Let's give it a second, come on. Yes, double click on from folder, paste, click okay. All right, I want to click on this little tiny drop down here, which you can, can't see at the moment. Hopefully they change that to yellow soon or change this to a white drop down. Combine and transform. This little screen will pop up, click OK. Power Query will pop up and then go. Did you see that? It popped up and went. It's hidden. It's hidden behind you. There we go. Okay, so that's where Power Query is gone. All right, let me know what you think. Did you know about those traps? Have you fallen for them? Are there any other traps? Let us know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy this sort of video and I'll catch you in the next one.